Okay, now I want to show you how I set up for an event. I want to create three folders. One is going to have my masters. The other is going to have my saved projects of the customers. And the other is the animation. Okay, so let's uh, go to the desktop. I usually save them in pictures, but because... Uh, we're doing this right now. Let's make it easy to follow. I'm going to just do it on the desktop. So let's go and I'm going to right click and I'm going to have a new folder. I'm going to call this, we're going to do like New Year's Eve. Okay. So New Year's Eve Masters. Okay. And then I'm going to make another folder that is helps me describe what it is, which is basically New Year's Eve 2016 customers. That's so I know because if you do one event, you don't want to get them confused with other events and you don't want to spend a lot of time naming your projects. So now I'm going to open that folder up and make a new folder called Animations. Oops. Animation. So I got a folder in a folder, right? So here's my customers. Here's my masters. I keep my masters separate so that in case there's a screw up, you got your masters here to uh, fall back on. Okay. I ha I have the New Year uh, New Year's Eve projects here, so I'm going to take uh, three of them. I'm going to copy them. These are projects that I made for your New Year's Eve. Okay, so I'm going to put them in this folder. So I have my masters all separate. And I can always go back and get them. If I'm lucky, I won't even have to go to that folder. This is the most important one right here. Now, let's, here's Live View. So let's go to the desktop and load one of the New Year's Eve projects that I'm going to be working on. Okay, I don't want to save that. There's the 2016 customers, New Year's Eve 2016 customers. Here's the masters. So I'm just going to pick one here and open this up. Now this background I call Las Vegas fireworks. Okay, as you can see, let's let me preview it here for you. And you can see that I've already played with it and set it up. You want to have your masters ready to go, obviously. And I can always bring this in. So let's say this is where I'm going to uh, have the people come into next, next, next. I made uh, three masters for this project, and I found out they all wanted the same one, which is this one right here. So um, at... Uh, by the first hour, I wasn't even offering the other two. Oh, by the way, just so you know, we can go over here and browse and uh, go back to desktop here and go to the masters. Okay. And let's bring one of these in here. Now you see all three masters are right here. You got your templates. So if I want to see what this couple looks like in the other um project I have, which is with the ribbons and all that, I can just click on it. And if I like it, I can hit change and it will go back to, here, let me do it just for the heck of it. Okay, so I wanted to put them in that one and you can see the background, everything's changed. So let's go back and we change this back here. So this is uh, the one I'm going to use. So they're right here to change it. But this keeps the same couple in. Keep that in mind. It keeps the same couple in. So I'm going to save this as, and I'm just going to call it test. Okay, I'm going to go back to the desktop. I'm going to call, I'm going to call it test. And the reason is I want one in there just so now it always knows where to go. It makes it almost like a hot folder. So if, if I switch out to the ribbons and I change that and I do save as, it goes back to the customers right up here. Okay, that's my test one right here. A lot of you like to do tethered. So 
you have a hot folder. And in this case, I'm going to use these from uh, uh, 2014 uh, Halloween. Okay. So if I take one, one from your hot folder or whichever, it's going to always take one from that same folder. So I'm going next. Okay. If you want to do it visually, I, I've got these set on just large icons. If you really want to do it visually, if you're taking three, four, five pictures and you have to show the customer, it's easier to make these extremely large uh, thumbnails here so you can really see. And then they go, oh, yeah, I want that one. I want that one. But no matter what you do, it's going to go back to the same folder. So as soon as I do this, I hit preview, right? I'm ready to save it. Now, why do I have a folder with animations in it? Because you can decide what you're going to do as far as what you're going to offer the public. You can, If you're going to do prints, when I bring these people in, I hit print lenticular and I rotate it. It's ready to print. Okay. You set your printer settings and uh, that's it. You're, you're done. But if I say, I'm going to go to this event. And instead of me trying to sell prints, I want to have them pay me like a photo booth. Then I'm going to want to do the animations. So they pay me $100, uh, $150, $200 an hour. Now when I bring in the next person on the list, okay, when I bring him in, instead of going print lenticular, I'm going to hit preview and I'm going to save the animation. Now. Let's go back to the desktop. Since we haven't saved one yet, let's go back to the customers, put it in the animation, and we're going to call it test here. Okay. It's already set up for the pre-size of the animation. If you want to see what it looks like here, I'll go over here and uh, open the file. And let's go to the desktop. Let's go to the customers. Here's the animation. Here's the test GIF. And there you go. There's your animation that you're going to uh, give to the customer. You see Jason back there? That's how easy it is. Once, once I bring another photo in, and uh, let's bring these guys back in again. So I'm going to preview. I'm going to save the animation. It goes to the animation folder. I name it, and I'm done. Now, I do it this way, and I'll tell you the reason why. I do save as, okay, and I, it goes to the customers, and I save it as. In this case, I'm going to save it as 1179. Okay, 1179. That's it, a number. Now, why would I save it as 1179? Because whether I print a photo here with print lenticular, there you go, or whether I save it as a, now if I want to save it as an animation, oh, it's already been there. 1179.gif is already in there. I just hit it. Now I have a print and I have an animation. And you would not believe how many times I admit this happened to me where they leave, they only want one print, and they come back 10 minutes later and go, can I get another print? We talked about it. We need another print. Well, if you don't have it saved, and you got to save one of them, whether it's the animation or whether it's the photo, I prefer saving the project, and then I don't have to worry about renaming the animation at the same time. So if I... Uh, I know some of these are really weird looking, but it was Halloween. Ah. Uh, so I go, wow, done. I save as, and I'm going to go 1180. So why am I going in sequence? When I preview it and I save the animation, I just got it already here. I just hit save. Now I've got the photo and the animation all at the same time. Now here's the secret. And I'm going to have to turn on live view so you can see my really handsome face here. But uh, I said that with a smile, which you didn't know. I have developed a system because here's what's 
people love the animation. When it gets on their phone, they are just ecstatic. And I mean, let's face it, you're, you're going to a um, Halloween party or Christmas party or a wedding or whatever, and you take this really cool picture in 3D and you want to show people. Well, if you have a print, the print's probably sitting at home or on your desk or whatever. With the animation, they can put it on their phone, they can put it on their tablet, they can email it with the animation, and you can paste it on Facebook. But this will not paste on Facebook if you only paste the animation in. Make sense? Of course it doesn't. Let me show you. Let me go to my Facebook account real quick. Okay. Facebook. Now, if I want to put that animation in, I'm going to go here to Ladere. You would think this is this is uh, Facebook's quirk, not mine. Okay. So right here, I would put in what's on my mind, and I'd say, "Hey, I took a cool Halloween picture. I'm going to put it in." Right. So it's not a video. So let's go to the desktop and with the customers and the animations in here. Let's do one one seven nine. And open it up okay here's what's going to happen it's going to look at it and go oh it's an animated gif I'm not going to let you do an animated gif you get a flat 2d picture that's it okay you get a flat 2d picture that has no value whatsoever as far as showing the Wow factor now, it's great if you only want a 2D picture, but if you want um, the animation, then you have to go and let's scroll down here. I'm not sure you an animation here. There's George's Pizza. Here's the same one, right? Now, this is what they want to show people on Facebook. It's cool. If you notice, when I go down here, when I stop it, it's hosted on a website at wiggleme.com, which is my website. I set it up just for animations. And if you're a member, a live view member, you will have your own website, your own place to set up, to send your animations. And that's how your customers can paste it to Facebook. So if I click wiggleme.com, it actually is going to wiggleme.com, New Year's Eve, New Year's E2.gif. Okay. That's where it's coming from. But unless you host it, you can't show the animation so that's something to consider whether you build it yourself it has to be hosted to be shown on Facebook which is of course the number one place they all want to show so anyway we kill that and now you have both that, that's as easy as it gets now what I've done is I set up a system I said, I don't want to have a bunch of uh, random names or names by Carl. How many Carls are you going to meet that night? Uh, or Gary's. So I set up a system. I'm going to turn on uh, the camera here, which is the live view camera. I got a green screen behind me. So you should be able to see me at least somewhat. I enlarged the picture. Here, let me move me up. Ah, there we go. So here I am. I want to show you this because this is a ticket, okay? And I know it's hard to see because it's I'm doing green screen. See, but you can see it says wiggleme.com. Right here is the address. I give this ticket to the customer. So it says wiggleme.com slash NYE, which is a folder that sells me its New Year's. And it says 1179.gif. If they can literally, if you're throwing them up at the event, they can go on their phone as soon as it's up there and pull it down and have it animating on their phone while you're at the event. Okay, so I give them this ticket, and you can make them so that they're little books all in sequence. Okay, I uh, found uh, what I consider the, the best software to do it fast. And that's why you also name your folders like the next event. It's Christmas or or uh, Halloween or Easter, you name it, you can use the same numbers over and over again. Because as long as it's in a folder, it's separated from the other events. And you don't have to be creating new numbers. 
Um, the software creates the number and creates this whole address on its own. Okay. So what happens is they go up and they, they collect this uh, um, off of the website. And that's it. You know, I mean, you don't have to. There's a tear off section here. It's just like a raffle ticket. Got the same number on it. I haven't put their name or email if you don't have a digital capture where you can do it digitally. The name and email, and now you've got their name, email, and the number of the ticket, which is their photo or animation. So if they need a new one, hey guys, <clears throat> excuse these shadows behind me. Shouldn't have worn a black shirt. I'm sitting within like two and a half inches of the green screen. Um, if they say, hey, I'd like to have a uh, photo now. Do you still have my thing? This is all you need. This part you save. This part they get. So they know and they tell them that they can get photos if they want to. Plus, if you got their email, you can do a mass mailing if you want to. Okay? You can do a mass mailing and say, hey, thanks for the event. We had a great time. And I got a special usually sell it for $20 for 5 by 7 because uh, you were uh, uh, one of the ones that took the photos. It's only 10 plus shipping. So this gives you a super easy system. You're naming with numbers in sequence. They've got the address to go there. If they lose it, let's say they're, they're having a great time and they lose it. Well, at least you've got their name the number, and the email. So if they give you their email and their name, you can actually find out that where the animation is or if you want to uh, um, make them a photo. I'm going to go back here to the Facebook thing here. Uh, okay, let's go over here and let's go to WiggleMe. W-I-G-G-L-A. WiggleMe.com. This, like I said, if you're a member, you're going to get a website that is like this, how to retrieve your animated GIF. Okay, directions to access your gift. There's even a video down here that shows you how easy it is. Company information on it for uh, bookings and stuff in case they want to tell somebody. And uh, they go, wow, where'd you get that at? Well, I got it. Go up on the website. You can see it. Uh, it will be subdomains. It would be like if your name is Carl, it would be carl.wiggleme.com. But you would get the FTP information, which is the file transfer. On It would already be automatic set to the animation folder and then it will automatically uh, update as you see fit okay now let's go back to Facebook here okay so I go over here and and I've got this animation down here okay where are you now remember I said when they click it it goes to wiggleme.com this right here if I copy that address and then I go back up here. This is what I'm telling them what they do. They literally just go in and copy that address. And they paste it in here. And you see it. Uh, Facebook says, oh, he just, put a, he just put a GIF up. Okay. That's how easy it is. But if, you're not ha if you don't have a hosted website, you ain't going to have any of the cool stuff. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. Basically... Uh, if I was going to do, um, let me turn my face off here. If I'm going to do another event, then I'm going to build it here and it's going to be Easter 2016 or Meg's Wedding or whatever it is. And these masters are just for my own backup in case I have them at the event. I build them on the desktop, put them on the laptop. But these here, it's two folders and everything matches up so you got 179 180 and test and you've got the same in here 179 180 one test by the way if you ever want to see how it looks right click on the animation and say open with and it usually be internet explorer or any browser any browser will do it you just open it up and that you that way you can see what it looks like I hope that made sense and I will talk to you later.